Hello, welcome to the Magma Head Talk. Today I'm sitting with Dan Sutton and he's just performed two songs with us. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Please enjoy your visual audio cacophony. So hi Dan, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, great. It's good to hear that you're good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're Dan Sutton. What, what do you do? I'm currently studying at the University of Hertfordshire doing music technology. I'm also a singer-songwriter doing gigs and stuff around. Doing yeah. Okay, yeah. University of Hertfordshire has absolutely no relation to this, uh, despite being featured pretty much every week. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing a load of gigs around here. So are these uh, solo gigs um, in pubs or have you got uh, uh, bigger, bigger things in sight? Yeah, um, so I haven't really done many gigs down here yet. I've only been here since September, so I'm trying to branch out, get some stuff going. Yeah, recently I was in a national singing competition called Open Mic UK. So I made it fifth place uh, in the 16 to 20s. Con congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for a couple of meetings with uh, some guys, so hopefully bigger things will come of this. Uh, it's, it's good. So you're actually traveling around. So where did you yeah. actually originally come from? Where were you doing these gigs? All right. Um, well, I come from Shropshire. That's that's a that's a good place because yeah. uh, our favorite guys from two blank pages they uh, come from Shrewsbury itself. Oh right, yeah, I live really near there. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, um, yeah. So I live right out in the country. Nothing much goes on. But, um, yeah. I, I come from a very musical town. There's a lot yeah. of music events constantly going on. So yeah, that's how I started. Really, I just started getting involved. I understand it's a very folky area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, as I said, two blank pages there folk, rock, and then you could be described on a very similar vein with but you're just an acoustic solo voice. Yep. So saying that, have you got a uh, kind of chosen genre you want to be a star in essentially or not necessarily yet. I'm still trying to find my own style really, my writing songs because I take inspiration from different genres and trying to put them all together, see what I can do. So yeah, I'm just still finding myself really. Okay. Is that you did something today, which is a first for the Magma Den sessions, and you did a cover with us. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So who was the cover by? The Black Keys. The Black Keys yep. with the song Lonely Boy. Yep. Yeah. So essentially, why, why did you choose that song over any other band, song, whatever? Yeah, I just, I really like the Black Keys and like, at gigs and stuff. I always open with, with a, that song. Um, I usually play it like really upbeat, trying to get everyone going, but... It's it's just, I find it really fun to play, really. <laughs> no, it's very important that when you're starting off, you especially when you're doing pub gigs, you need mm. something to capture the crowd and make sure that they keep listening. Yeah. Is Lonely Boy one of those songs which usually gets a crowd together without even trying, let's say? Yeah, um, I find that a lot of people know it. So they will start singing along. And even so, if even if they don't know the song, it's usually quite upbeat, so... Just get involved start <laughs> clapping and stuff <laughs> so it's cool oh, that's good news i mean getting uh, uh people involved is an incredibly difficult yeah. thing so that's something towards your talent there uh, so congratulations to that have you had any particular strong stories from any gig you've done so far <laughs> not really no no, no okay uh, just any advice for people out there doing wedding gigs just be prepared for drunk people <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> Oh, okay. Now, now that does warrant a story. Come on, Wait, wedding gigs and drunk people. Uh, yeah. uh, it's not really a, a big story, I guess, but it just just a lot of drunk people took. I was playing in a band at the time, and we gone to get some food. And we come back, and there's just like loads of middle aged people just using our kit and just playing <laughs> their own sort of stuff. Yeah, it took us a while to get them off uh, the stage. <laughs> Uh, fortunately, nothing was broken, but it was really weird <laughs> coming back and seeing this. This is a group of middle-aged people, and all of a sudden they're playing Britney Spears. It was I, I don't even <laughs> think it can count as music, really. It was sort of just hitting stuff. So playing Britney Spears? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I love alienating uh, an entire group of people before I've even met them. Yeah. yeah it's a good start. <laughs> So you've done wedding gigs and things like that yeah. in bands. Okay, so you've been within groups before and uh, this whole solo project is fairly new then? Uh, yeah, I must um, must have been doing it about a year and a half. So still um, fresh-faced. Yeah. I'm, so, given that you were still a first year, you are incredibly fresh-faced for most of the music world. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I'd say I probably started gigging when I was 16, playing in a band at the time. I'd only picked up a guitar, I think, when I was 15. <laughs> so I was, yeah, first few gigs were a bit dodgy, <laughs> I will say. <laughs> Is, but that's 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 the important yeah. bit about doing music is that your first few gigs are incredibly mm. dodgy and then you yeah. move on to other things. Yeah, I think it's very important to make sure that you fail before you succeed. I haven't really got a story for that. Other than <laughs> just, you know, just happens like, to everyone, really. Yeah. When, whenever I go out, I uh, tend to want to make people laugh as much as possible. And if I'm coming with some really deadpan responses or anything like that, and having nobody react, obviously it is soul crushing. <laughs> yeah. But it's great feedback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so minus the wedding gig, did you have any particular gig where this happened, but you p had to persevere or anything like that? Well, I've obviously, I've done a few gigs where there's been nobody there. And where there's been like <laughs> five. Jam Jar was not one of them. No, Jam Jar was not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but you sometimes you go to a, a pub or something like that. And it's just one of those nights that nobody's in there, but... You know, you just carry on. It's still a good experience. You can view just it as practice. Yeah, and practice. <laughs> and you're getting paid for it. <laughs> so, Oh, that, that's wonderful. You're getting paid. I mean, <laughs> okay, why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the solitary round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think on that note, I can say thank you very much for coming in. My hand is on my heart because I'm being <laughs> sincere. Thank you so much for uh, coming Thanks for in. having was, me. <laughs> yeah, it was absolutely wonderful. We hope to we get to work with you again. Yeah, absolutely. Shaking hands. We're shaking hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for listening. Please tune in again next week for the next possible Magma Talk. <laughs>